Hello and welcome. My name's Super Saiyan and this is your weekly news and pre-order video covering all of the new releases from Games Workshop. Warm welcome to all of you new subscribers and a massive thank you to all of the members, everyone that supports the channel uh, through Patreon and using the Element Games affiliate link where you can save yourself 20% uh, off your Warhammer goodness. Uh, let's get straight into the news uh, right here and if we go back uh, about a week ago um, to the 20th, uh, Saturday the 20th of January 2024, um, we can see that uh, there was a, a little article about the Old World Almanac, uh, the Orc and Goblin tribes. Um, they're kind of coming back for the Old World. Look, you've got an Orc and uh, Goblin tribes battalion. Uh, so if you liked orcs and goblins the last time around and you want to pay more money for them, uh, then yeah, Games Workshop are, are giving you all uh, the, the opportunity to do that. But I think they're also bringing out some new miniatures. Look at that. That's very, very cool. Um, yeah, awesome. Is that like a Fellwater Trogoff head that he's wearing? Um, yeah. And then you've got these old school minis in the classic kind of goblin green uh return in resin which is very nice um yep very cool and also going to be joined by uh the trogoff hag and uh, a dragon would have been nice to see some new minis um more new minis uh and i'll, I'll say this throughout the old world release uh you've got returning metals as well i thought we'd done away with those um i guess it's more uh because they can go because they can um have these on sort of made to order as well maybe it's profitable now for them to do that <laughs> you've got some old trog offs too um and then you've got some uh classic old stone trolls um to pre-order uh, last weekend good luck if you were able to uh, pick up the uh, deathwing assault it was only available in select places and it sold out quite quickly within five or six minutes or so um yeah i i've i think i've said all i need to say about the disappointment and about how it's handled and how they should know better and that they do it on purpose i i don't need to cover that anymore um all I can say is I just feel quite sad um, for anyone that genuinely wanted this box set and uh, has been left um, disappointed because um, they are nice minis and they're nice upgrade sets. It's just, um, yeah, it's just poorly handled, isn't it, and released. Uh, you've got a book, I think, a couple of books uh, that was up for pre-order. So not many pre-orders last weekend on the Saturday. On the Sunday, so the next day, um, we had a little look at Warhammer the Old World. Um, they're releasing um, some more minis. Um, it looks like uh, following miniatures are all cast in metal. Um, smattering of plastic horses where necessary. They're up, um, available to order from 10 a.m. Uh, you know, today on a made to order basis and they may take up to 180 days um, to arrive. If there are any of you that are decent at maths, you'll know that that is six months. So it could take up to six months. Games Workshop just sitting on all of your, your pile of money um, and then they'll just, yeah, uh, get them to you uh, when, when they can. Uh, then you've got some uh, lords and battle standard bearers and war horses, some paladins. You've got the damsels of uh, the lady. Um, they were first released in the mid '90s. Uh, Tomb kings. Uh, you've got some priests and things, and that's it. And Warhammer Plus there was a battle report. Um, and Law Masters. There was a nice solo auxilia um, uh, article. Uh, so yeah, not much at all. Um, up for pre-order today when, when we go over to the store and have a look. Uh, you've got the Warhammer Heroes. Time is running out to submit your nominations. Um, can you... Yeah, you can still submit your nominations. But yeah, you can nominate a hero there. Uh, you can meet um, Yegloth, uh, the Delacue bounty hunter, who can literally become a shadow. Um, so that's quite nice. Looks like some kind of like assassin type thing. Got one of these... Psychoteric Blades. Reminds me of it like the Catan Face Sword in a way. Um, the End and the Death Volume 3 Special Edition is returning to sale. Yeah. <laughs> I told you, they like money. They, you know, they, they like money. And um, it, it must really uh, grate them 
um, when they put these special editions up and they get sold out within a couple of minutes and they think, oh, crikey, you know, two and a half thousand uh, copies uh, sold out within three minutes. Imagine if we sold 10,000. It, yeah. Um, these, these, there should be way more. Uh, yes, they're kind of special editions and things, um, but the, everybody should have the opportunity and chance to pick up a special edition of of these books if if they wish. Um, and uh, yeah, I think quite a few people have been missing out, but that's great that that's uh, returning to to sale. It's saying that um, books will be going back on sale at four o'clock Wednesday. So that was Wednesday this week, just gone. Um, probably out of stock again by now. You've got the Old World Almanac um, World Almanac Download Legacy PDFs here. So you've got loads of legacy PDFs, so you can start using all your old uh, armies. Um, you've got the Rumor Engine, some kind of cloak, I'm guessing. Uh, then you've got Armies on Parade, uh, start your planning now. Kill Team, a little look at uh, some of the rules for the beta or beta Decima, Got some scorpions and scouts. Uh, save the date, Black Library celebration is nearly here. Very nice uh, mini with the new book, The Big Dacker. And it's going to be between the 5th and the 9th of February. So not, not long to go, guys. Uh, you've got the uh, Warhammer Plus Battle Report. How to paint the Necrolith Bone Dragon. Uh, first Warhammer Old World events um, coming to Warhammer uh, World soon. You've also got a Legion. You've also got Legion's Imperialis. And a few other things. Then Horus Heresy uh, Thursday. Had a brand new book. Um, being announced, uh, the Battle for Beta Garmin. It's a new campaign book. Uh, it follows a similar pattern, such as the Seath of uh, Thonia. And you've got Horus uh, Lupercal himself. And then you've got some Black Shields. So it's like a mix and match of, you know, Mark III and Mark VI. And yeah, pretty cool. Uh, you've got The Road Goes Ever On, look ahead uh, to 2024, Middle Earth, very nice. Um, the re-release of Quest to Mount Doom, board game. And then you've got some more releases. It's great that they're still, still supporting it. Uh, Meta Watch, then you've got Dawnbringer Chronicles, uh, Mechanisms of Ruin, Codex Supplement Dark Angels. That will probably be coming out quite soon maybe next few weeks uh golden demon 2024 revealing their category details and european leg of the world's best painting competition so you've got the category list there you've got the terms and conditions and so on so not a huge amount of news um this past week very quiet i think compared to previous weeks um so there is that uh, let's go on over to games workshop web store right here um and we'll have a little little look um, it's still an absolute pain to navigate, uh, but if we click on new and exclusive, and yeah, these are your made to order uh, old world minis. So you've got um, Battle Standard Bear on Foot and Mount 2750. Um, you've got the Leech Priest 2750. Uh, you've got the Tomb King with Sword and Shield. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, Tomb King with Great Weapon. 9, uh, Bretonian Paladins, Sword and Shield, 18, <laughs> yeah, that's kind of like Forge World prices, that one, um, Damsels of the Lady, £30 for those, uh, £9 for the Paladin, another 9 for the um, Bretonian Paladin with Hammer and Shield, you've got the uh, Lord with Sword and Shield on Pegasus, now, if they renewed this in plastic, 25 quid is what it should be. Um, you've got a Battle Standard Bearer on Warhorse, £18. Bretonian Lord with Great Weapon on Warhorse. And uh, Bretonian Lord with Lance on Warhorse. And that is it. 
um just 12 made to order minis um for your pre-orders uh this this weekend so not much at all so they advertise two really cool minis and then you click there and there they are pretty much um, but the librarian's still out of stock you can now get the loyalist champion console though but for 27 pound 50 but yeah 27 pound 50 again this this always goes back to what i've said about the perceived value you know the games workshop are are now selling single plastic kind of space marines for 27 pound 50 and they're also selling the forge world resin uh, minis for 27 pound 50 so does that now um, mean that the games workshop uh, minis the plastic ones are overpriced or does that mean that now the forge world resin ones with all this extra detail and things are cheaper you know um you're getting better value uh certainly i think the characters in resin are the way to go and the vehicles in plastic are the way to go especially if you get like a discount or something um you know absolutely incredible that we've got all of these minis in in plastic you know like the the big um tank destroyer the um venators you've got the scorpius as well um and then the support tanks and the normal predators and even all the dreadnoughts, um, including the uh, Doredio, which doesn't seem to be on this front, front page. But yeah, there's just like a... Oh, there it is. Right. Okay. So, yeah, now we've, we've got the Assault Squad as well, um, which uh, I will be getting a review out quite soon. So join me for that. Um, that's it for all of the uh, news and pre-orders today. Uh, not much this week. Um, what do you guys think? Uh, will you be picking up any old world? Did you receive your old world last week? Did you receive your um, Dark Angels uh, Deathwing Assault today? Please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be good to hear from you. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.